a message. Wagwan, people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm out here working out on this glorious, glorious day. Weather is beautiful today. And, yeah. Don't mind my hair. I just bleached it and, uh, yeah. Um, I didn't get any toner or anything. Haven't been able to afford all that extra stuff to fix this weird orange, but I'll work on that. I got purple shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about my music and what inspired me to make my first album. Hope there's not too much noise around here as I hear trucks. Mm -hmm. It's Sunday, I didn't think there'll be that much going on, but it's not a whole lot. Hopefully you guys will still hear me well. So anyway, my first album, Quintessentially Graceful. I'm gonna drop some random little tidbits, you know, about the artist type shit that you guys wouldn't know otherwise. So I came up with that name because I wanted something different, obviously. I wanted my album to have a different word that's not commonly used. And quintessential is one of them. Quintessential is, I think it has two meanings. One is just being plain, happy, and weird-ish. Best way I can explain it at the moment. And there's another, another meaning for it. I can't remember at the moment, but you, you can look it up. Quintessential, quintessentially, that's where I got that from. And it's not too commonly used, even in the music industry. I saw a couple of the art albums with that name, but I was like, eh, who cares? I'm gonna do it as well. I'm gonna do something different that wasn't out there. So I chose quintessentially graceful. I chose graceful because my name, my actual first name. Exercise ring closed. Hey, exercise ring closed. What's up? Um, so for a mile and a half. Um, I chose graceful because my first name, my actual first name, means graceful. For those of you who have not been to my website or you don't know a damn thing about me, besides my abuse story, my first name is Anais and that means graceful. Or at least in French it does. It has, I believe it has a French meaning. I believe it has another meaning. But yes, it means graceful in French. So that's why I chose that. So we just kind of fit, you know, I chose that quintessentially graceful, it just flowed and it went with my theme. Now y'all know the theme I chose was of course nature based. Everything's all green and pretty. Where I designed the album, I wanted my first album to be captivating as far as um, nature. And what I want people to think about when they hear this album is, um, I want your mind to go somewhere else. I want your mind to elevate. So most of my songs that I make, they're on a metaphysical basis, if you know what I mean. I created most of those songs with other worlds in mind. If you're not woke, woke, then you don't know the hell I'm talking about. But either way, I wanted people to elevate themselves when they hear my music. If you notice, most of my songs have a weird, otherworldly type vibe. And that's what I wanted, you know? That's what I wanted. So, I hope that I captured that pretty well for y'all. Um, a lot of people have said that their favorite song is Moonlit Watchers. I can imagine why. I believe my two, the two favorites that are going on right now is Moonlit Watchers and China Dreams are made of this. Those are really popular as I expected. I ex really expected that. Um, what was the other one? 
probably Island Gale Jumbo. I'm not really sure how popular that one is right now. It's kind of in between the other two. But yeah, I created my songs with an otherworldly vibe to it. I wanted people to be like, okay, this song is weird, but I like it. You know, weird as hell. I want my songs to have meaning. The intro, my whole album basically tells a story about me. The intro, I made the intro alpha tone based off of, um, as if I was just being born. Because, you know, alpha means first. Alpha means, you know, the beginning. So, okay, let me let this truck go by. I wanted it to be about the beginning of me, the beginning of my life. So, that's why I made it like that and I made it short, sweet, and to the point. As if I'm being summoned into this world and you know hence I'm here now I made that so pretty powerful I put powerful piano in it because piano is the instrument that I can play by ear and I learned to play when I was a kid um I had no lessons I had no piano lessons I just started playing piano by ear when I was like really young really I say it started from age 10 but really it was before that because my grandmother had a um she used to have an organ years ago because i think she was in her church choir she used to have an organ in her house when i was young i used to go there and play organ play on the organ i totally forgot about those memories until i thought about it a couple months ago it was like no when i was 10 that wasn't my first time playing a piano that wasn't the first time me playing a piano or organ or you know that type of instrument it wasn't so I was like, yeah, you know, good point. That set me up to be on my road to, you know, playing a piano keyboard, if you know what I mean. That's what that set me up for. So when I was 10, that's when I got one. Because I asked for one. And yeah, my parents had got me a little electronic keyboard, my first electronic keyboard. So that's how that started. I was playing the organ ever since I was really young, probably like three, four. I don't know how old I was, but that was my the beginning of my music background. I've had plenty of musical background in school. You know, my parents played music a lot. My dad especially was obsessed with music. I was always around music. I played a lot of instruments in school back when music classes were in black schools. I played guitar. I played uh, a little bit of clarinet, I believe. A couple of random instruments here and there. I was in a choir at one point at one of my private schools. You know, we had to sing um, for the choir, for class, you know, for a grade. Uh, you know, group singing. So, yeah, I have a lot of musical background. I have some more, I just don't remember at the moment. But yeah, I have a bit of, good bit of musical background and I love music. I've always been a big music lover. Oh, a rabbit. Oh, Look at little rabbit. And he always runs every time I come over here. But yeah, I have a huge musical background. I'm proud of that. So, that's a little on that. Now back to my songs. My songs, like I said, they basically tell a story from Alpha Tone all the way to the last song sending uh Ascension to the Waters, I believe. Yeah, I love that song. All throughout the middle, it's kind of scattered. Like, my life has been kind of scattered here and there. But still, you know, metaphysical, nature-based songs. And the last song, Ascension to the Waters, is basically about me ascending back to where I was from before. Like sometimes I feel like I'm a mermaid spirit. Sometimes I feel like I have, you know, I've been a mermaid at some point in time. Or I have some affinity, huge affinity with water. You know, stuff like that. So, I made that song to say I'm going back to where I'm from. A.K.A. I'm dying. You know what I mean? Like, this is the end of my life. The alpha tone was the beginning song. That's the begin supposed to mean the beginning. And the ascension is supposed to mean the end. And I have music videos in my head <laughs> that I always set up in my head for all my songs or at least specific ones 
I create music videos in my head that goes with each song. So yeah, in the Ascension one, um, the world around me is dying. So I try to escape, I try to get away from it before it all goes boom. And what happens in the video is that, or in my head, I ascend to the waters. The buildings are around me collapsing. I'm alone, cold, hungry, ready to get off of Earth. And I see um, the ocean. So I dive in the ocean, you know, just swimming around, trying to cool off or whatever. And what happens is I get met by mermaid spirits underneath the water. And they pull me in. Of course, I'm afraid because I'm like, why are you pulling me in? I'm not going to be able to breathe. I can't breathe under here. But they pull me under and they keep pulling me under really slowly. And it's, it's as if they're greeting me. They're like all happy and saying hi and all that. And they keep pulling me deeper and deeper and deeper. And for some reason, I'm able to breathe down there. And all these mermaid spirits come out of nowhere. They flock to me. They, you know, surround me. They love me. They welcome me in to their home, I guess. As they keep pulling me under. That's what's going on in the Ascension song. And they pull me down to this portal. This big giant portal. And of course I'm freaking out because I'm like, what the hell is this? Where are they taking me? What is going on? But for some reason I feel at peace. Of course I was freaking out, but I slowly start feeling at peace. It's like they melted all my cares and worries away. I could breathe. I could talk. Well, no, I wasn't talking. Um, but they melted all my cares and worries away. And I was able to follow them which is really weird so they pulled me out in, in there and they pulled me into the portal nice and slowly as the song is going I'm being pulled into this portal and it's a happy thing For some reason I'm happy I'm overjoyed I'm, 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 I'm here I feel home I feel like I'm home you know and that's what came in my head when I was creating that song this is honestly <laughs> what I want in my head you're not going to give this info anywhere else so I don't know I seriously doubt I'm going to become famous from doing music, but I don't care. It is what it is. I put my songs out and they came from the heart. They came from my heart and my soul. And these are my stories. You know, and this is why some things about what I believe I was from, where I came from, and what's deep inside my soul. So, yeah, that's what I came here to talk about today. Um, if I think of any other song tidbits, I'll come back and make another video because I can't think of any more at the moment. But that's the basis of what my album is. That's the whole synopsis of quintessentially graceful. Because that's what I am and that's who I am at this point in my life. And probably who I'll forever be. <laughs> so yeah. The weather is great out here. I'm just getting my workout in. 1.7 miles so far. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tidbit. Let me know your questions and comments down below. Let me know which song is your favorite. If you want to hear the songs before you buy them, they're here on YouTube. Um, I think it says Chaonix. It's on this channel. Because they put the songs. I was trying to make a new channel. It's a long story. But for some reason, they put the songs on this channel rather than the new ch channel that I had made called Chaonix. So I don't know why they have it, but whatever. It is what it is. That's what happened. So, like I said, if you want to hear them for free, they're on SoundCloud. They're here on YouTube. They're everywhere on every streaming platform you can possibly find. So yeah, let me know your favorite. Let me know if you heard them and which one is your absolute favorite and why. Let me know in the comments below. So yeah. On that note, I hope you guys are having a great month, day, hour, second, and week. And summer. Summer's ending soon. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Peace out.